Hey guys, Michael from Copy Glass, and today I'm going to be counting down my top 5 must have Android widgets. Okay, starting off at number 5, we have the Google Now widget. Now, the reason why I like this widget is because it takes you straight to Google Now, and with something like a Samsung Galaxy S3, it's a bit harder to get to Google Now. You need to long press on the home button and then click on the Google Now symbol. Whereas with this widget, you can just click on the widget straight away and it takes you exactly to where you need to get to. Again, real quick, real simple, really easy to use. Now, so it's going to give you the exact same cards that you would have within Google Now, just a little bit more condensed. So, as you can see here, I've got the weather for the next couple of days i've also got how long it will take me to get to work and as always if i click on there it will take me to a bit more of an in-depth view within google now and obviously if i can navigate then to work just clicking on navigate too so again real simple really easy to use and a really handy app and obviously if you do use google now quite a lot obviously it starts to learn your habits a lot more and it becomes a lot more useful um, the more that you use it so google now is in at number five in at number four is the Google Keep widget. Now, there's only two Google widgets in this top five that we're doing right now. Um, and this one, again, real good for note taking. Obviously, you can use things like Evernote and things like that. But I just find this one a bit more useful in terms of what it can or can't do. And the fact that it syncs everything up with my laptop as well. So, as you can see here, that I've written down some uh, text on these widgets here. So I've got a couple of things here that I need to remind myself of. Now, so at the top here, you can see the main kind of actions that you can take. You can click on this first one, which is to write a brand new list. The next one then that we're going to have is a tick widget, which again just gives you more of a itemized kind of thing. Like if you want to do like a shopping list or just a number of things that you need to remember, you can write those down in there as you can tick things off once they're done. So real handy. The next one is voice dictation and what this will actually do is it will kind of give you a written response and also a kind of preview in terms of an MP3. So if we just click on that now. Doing a video now on Google Keep for Copper V Glass. And again, it's going to kind of give you everything that you need and like I say, give you like a little preview there. Then once you click on done, it's then going to save it there onto your Google Keep widget, which is real nice, real handy. And again, you've then got the photo application as well, where with this one, you can take photos of everything as well. So again, if I'm just going to kind of take a photo of just out the window and a bit of the camera there, click on the save button. And then again, it's going to, you can add a title and things. I'll just call this camera test. Again, click on done, and so I'm going to save that onto the widget as well. So again, real easy to use. And again, if you go into the actual Google Keep application itself, you've got everything in a real nice interface here as well. So again, just in general, not necessarily just from a widget standpoint, but the actual application itself is really helpful, really easy to use. And I use it pretty much on a daily basis to keep notes. Next up is a really simple widget and it is Battery Widget Reborn. Now the reason why I like this widget is because on some phones you can't have a battery percentage. Um, obviously on the Galaxy S3 you can, but if you didn't want to have that on there, you wanted to have a really minimal barrel on the top, then this is a great alternative. Now the real good thing about it is once you click on the actual application itself, it's going to give you a lot more information in terms of the actual widget configuration. So you can change pretty much the entire widget itself. So obviously you can change the inner text to show different things. So I want to show, uh, for instance, the time remaining. So I've got two hours left on the charge that I'm using right now. Battery remaining line. Obviously that's the line that goes around the edge here. You can see here that that's going to get bigger and smaller depending on the width that I put it on just here. So again, real neat, real handy there. If you click on the back button, it's actually going to take you back to the widget itself. So again, real simple, really easy to use. Um, now in terms of the actual Battery Weeborn app, um, again, really nice app, really nice interface in terms of the actual battery usage itself. It's going to tell you all the information straight from your system in terms of what is being used. So again, that's a really simple interface to have. And I just like the fact that it changes depending on exactly what it is that you are doing. So you saw a minute ago that it said, okay, I got two hours left based on what I was doing, but I haven't touched the phone for a while. It's saying, okay, now you've got four hours left on the remaining charge. So again, really, really nice app, real simple interface. And again, a must have if you are the kind of person that really wants to know kind of uh, how long you've got left on a certain charge or just how long before your phone is about to die, then again, this is a real simple app for you guys. Coming in at number two now is Eye in the Sky. This is probably my favorite widget, uh, weather widget. Um, and in terms of, again, 
just the general look of it it's very nice very simple to use you can see here that you've got a four or five day forecast including obviously the current day um, but it's good that it gives you some more information obviously it gives you in terms of um, written information in terms of just relying on you looking at the icons and again in terms of customization this again is kind of along the same lines as what I would say the battery widget reborn um, in terms of customization and uh, I've actually got the customization option uh, kind of turned off right now when I click on mine it's going to actually just take me straight to the actual weather itself and you can though have it in terms of the actual icon itself when you can change things in terms of the icon sets um, and again you can change the color of the text and things like that so again real nice that you can have all that customization you don't have to have it looking the same as everyone else's um, obviously certain kind of icon sets you can download multiple icon sets so you don't have to stick with just what is within the application and um, I just like it it's just real nice obviously if you're looking at this now the graphics and things real easy on the eyes the text is really easy to see as well and just the amount of information that it gives you in such a small space again is real nice and obviously all the widgets that i'm going through today are completely resized but if you want to have it a bit smaller or if you want to move it up to the top then obviously it gives you that option to do so um so that is eye in the sky and my number one widget of choice it's a bit of a no-brainer really is dash clock widget uh, now basically what this does is it allows you to have a load of different widgets combined into one and uh, what I mean by that is the actual widget itself can have extensions so if you didn't have anything kind of turned on at the moment it would only show the time and the date at the top here but I've got here my weather battery percentage the Wi-Fi that I'm on and also a money app that I use as well now if you click on this little button here it takes you to the settings where you can add or take away different extensions um, and again you can move these around you can put them in a different order if you need to and again within the actual extensions some have settings as well so again if you click on the battery widget reborn settings again it can give you different information that you can change for the actual dash clock widget itself so again real nice there um, and again in terms of the appearance things you can change Change things like the actual clock interface we've got like different clocks that we can go through here and also the date along the bottom that can be changed as well by going back and forth so again not a huge amount of customization but in terms of what you can do with the app it comes in real handy and there are some pretty cool things in terms of the extensions you can get so if I go on to add another extension I've got things like eye in the sky weather so again obviously the eye in the sky app that we were using a minute ago you can have that on this widget so again that's real handy there and obviously you've got the usual amount of things like your alarm your missed calls text messages and all that information as well i just think it's a real simple real easy widget to have on there and the one great thing about it is you don't need to have it filling your whole screen off so if you want a really minimal look then you can do because it's real nice text but if you hold and then resize it if you make it kind of the size of only say in, in my case it's four by two and um, then it's kind of give you a little preview of the actual extensions that you've got and again gives you a lot more room to put some other stuff on there as well basically um, so that's pretty much my number one top widget at the moment just for the fact that it gives you a whole load of information um, at a glance and that's kind of the whole point of widgets in my opinion I mean widgets are a bit kind of hit and miss um, when I first got my Android device I was installing widget after widget and you know taking up a lot of home screens and things and to be honest at the moment I've got six home screens at the moment that's only for video purposes the home screen that I'm actually using right now is this one right here so you can see here that I've got my dash clock widget at the top here and I've actually got my eye in the sky widget just underneath and then my most recently used apps so I'm not necessarily that you need to have widgets filling up each and every page because again getting to the certain things are going to take quite some time but I'm saying you know have a bit of a play around have a bit of a mix up to see kind of what would suit you best obviously if you've got any questions about any of the apps that we've gone through today or any of the widgets we've gone through today then also leave a comment down below if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button I'm Michael from Copy the Glass and I'll catch you guys in the next video.